How's it going everybody? Cub fan here. And today I have a very unique invention to show you all. So this is my automatic sponge dryer and water bucket collector. So what this does is it allows you to turn empty buckets into water buckets while simultaneously turning wet sponge back into dry sponge. Um, so how it works is you basically open up this furnace here, place a fuel source in there, and then put in a bucket. And you'll see here the wet sponge gets smelted up. And there you go, it turns to dry sponge, the water bucket, or the empty bucket turned into a water bucket, and it all got pulled out into this chest. Now this will continue to go on um, until uh, the fuel source runs out. So let me just fast forward here until we get there. Okay, so the furnace has now run out of fuel, and you can see we've got some water buckets in here, as well as some sponge. And the cool thing about this design is that it doesn't matter um, what fuel source you put in here. It'll keep going until it runs out. So you can even use a lava bucket. So say you were in the nether and wanted a bunch of water buckets to put in cauldrons for potions. Uh, you can easily do that just by plucking this water bucket or this lava bucket in there. And that will give you 100 buckets of water. So you want to make sure and expand uh, this double chest storage downwards with hoppers and more chests. Also, it's worth noting that if you do go ahead and drop a lava bucket in here um, so that you fill up this entire chest and the hopper beneath it with water buckets and sponges, it won't actually hurt this at all. It'll simply wait until there is enough room. So we'll make some room here. And then you can see it goes ahead and continues on as normal if there's still fuel there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the redstone here. So we'll fly around the back side. As you can see, it's relatively compact and pretty easy to build so let's go ahead and crack on with this tutorial here so as always first things first you want to find out where you want your output chest to be mine's going to be right there then we'll take a hopper and place it facing into the chest like so with a furnace on top then place a hopper on top of that and a chest on top of that and that will be where you put your wet sponge then we'll have a hopper facing into the side of the furnace with the chest on top and that will be where we place our empty buckets. Next up, we'll grab some blocks, head to the back side, place a block in back of the furnace, and then one beneath that block. Uh, so then on this block we just placed here on the top half, we'll place a half slab and get rid of that other block. We don't need that anymore. On top of that half slab now, we're going to go ahead and place a comparator. And we want that comparator to face into a block like so. And then we're going to make a two deep and five wide structure like this. Perfect. We'll come here where the comparator goes into this block. We'll place dust on top there. And then repeaters on either side. And then put dust on all the other blocks like that. Next up, come to this comparator. Shift click and place a block right on top like so. Jump over it and place a repeater facing directly into that hopper. Then come back over here uh, to the right side of your build and we want to have this hopper be locked so to do that we're gonna go ahead and place a block like so with dust on top just like that. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and place a wet sponge in here and you should see that all the redstone on the back side lights up and there should be a wet sponge in the furnace and you can also go ahead and place a bucket in the chest and it should stay in the chest. It's also wise at this point to go ahead and place a bucket in your item hopper and a wet sponge in the item hopper as well. And you can actually go ahead and uh, fill up the chests as well. Alright, so now on to the bottom half. So we'll come to the back here. And right where this redstone dust is, in between these two repeaters, place a block, dust on top of it, and then place a torch right there. And I'm going to go ahead and get out my piston, get that ready. And from the block that the torch is on, you come down one, two blocks, and you'll have a piston facing this way. You'll see that it'll extend, and you want to place a redstone block there. Then you want to place some dust right beside it, and then come up one, 
and over one and have dust right there leading into that bottom hopper and once you've done that you can get rid of these two excess blocks over here but that is it you are done um, yeah like I said go ahead if you haven't done it already go ahead and put wet sponge and your buckets into the appropriate chests now all you need is a fuel source so let me go ahead and do that plop that right in there and you should see that the wet sponge um, smelts up just like so and there you go takes it out the first time it goes through the just one sponge will come through the bucket is actually still in the item hopper but the second time around here you should start to see the water buckets come through as well and we got the other sponge so that's about it for me today guys hope you enjoyed this um, like I said I think the main use for this is to supply uh, you water buckets in the nether for use in cauldrons so you can brew but let me know if you guys know of any other uses for this and that's going to be all for me today guys so thank you very much for watching this is my cup fan. Goodbye.